This is Ron. Ron is the best bartender in the world. Ron is one of the best. Eh. Ron is a bartender. Ron loves drinking too much. Hey. This is a video about Ron's favorite drink, the daiquiri. The drink is made of white rum, sugar, and limes. What can you tell us about this drink, Ron? Well, I'm glad you Great. Now to understand this drink, we travel to Cuba in 1896, the birthplace of the original daiquiri. Legend says that the originator was Jennings Cox, an American expat living in Cuba at the time. Jennings was hosting a cocktail party when he ran out of gin. He improvised, using the island's most plentiful of ingredients, cane sugar, white Cuban rum, and a whole bunch of limes. The party and the cocktail, as history goes, were a success. The famous Cuban bar Floridita tweaked the recipe in the 1920s when they incorporated shaved ice and a blender, creating the frozen daiquiri. This frozen blend caught on in Cuba, and eventually the eye of its most famous resident, Ernest Hemingway. Papa Hemingway was diabetic, so he asked the bartenders to skip the sugar. And since Papa Hemingway was an alcoholic, he also asked them to double the rum. A version named after him made the permanent menu of the Floridita. The drink continued to evolve from the preferred party drink of the Kennedys to sugary, brightly colored concoctions meant to be drank out of a straw while being the worst version of yourself. We have the resurgence of classic cocktails to thank for the rebirth of the original daiquiri. Now let's make a daiquiri. First, you'll need a chilled coupe glass. Then we'll need three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Then three fourths of an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. To be clear, not store-bought lime juice, which really should only be used for your shitty salads. I like your juicer, Ron. <laughs> what I had. Every bartender has a preferred white rum for the daiquiri. What's yours, Ron? Well, Havana is my favorite. It's called Kanye Brava. Kanye Brava is the best. We'll need two ounces of this world-class rum. Fill the tin with ice. Shake to combine and cool. Do you have to shake like that? This is how I always shake. It's just, it looks dorky. Are you done? I guess I'm done. Strain into a coupe glass. And now, dear viewer, you are done. Now make another. Make five more. Heck, make 15 more. I don't care. I'm not responsible for you. 